Martin Luther once said, I felt that I had been born anew and that the gates of heaven had been opened. The whole of scripture gained a new meaning and from that point on the phrase, the justice of God, no longer filled me with hatred, but rather became unspeakably sweet by virtue of a great love. Luther had been studying the Bible, St. Paul's letter to the Romans to be exact, when he finally came to understand that it was not up to human beings to make themselves worthy in the eyes of a righteous God. Luther tried. He quit his study of law. He entered a monastery and was so rigorously observant that his health suffered. The word of God only seemed to bring condemnation. It tormented him. But in an instant, that all changed from hatred to love, from despair to joy, from death to life. Here was the gospel, the good news. We receive forgiveness of sin and become righteous before God out of grace for Christ's sake through faith. Luther knew he had to get the word out, literally. He laid hold of technology, the printing press, and modernized communication, translating the Bible into the vernacular. Ordinary people could now read or at least hear God's promise of love, freedom, and grace. Scripture was no longer the property of the educated elite. God's saving message could speak to all people. In a way, Luther's translation of the Bible, completed 500 years ago this year, combined with the technology of his day, made it possible to tell the old, old story in a new way. The gospel has not changed the world has. The ELCA is rooted in tradition, the saving love of God given as a gift, grace. But we must become radically relevant. People today might not use the vocabulary of the church, sin or redemption or grace, but people are still looking for meaning and belonging and love. We need to take a page out of Luther's playbook and translate the gospel into the cultural vernacular. We're moving toward future church and we have a goal to engage one million new, young, diverse people by the end of this decade. Not to fill pews and offering plates, but to welcome them into the way of Jesus, where they and we find community, justice, and love. If we have experienced the infinite and intimate love of Jesus, why wouldn't we want to share that with everyone? We pray that the Holy Spirit would activate each of us for this life-giving work. We can tell the old, old story in a new way.